All right, I want to get back to what's unfolding right now on the streets of Minneapolis ahead of the verdict. Jason Rance joins me, radio talk show host for the KTTH in Seattle. You've seen so much unrest on your own streets. First of all, quick top line thoughts on uh, all of the response that is happening on the ground there. Well, I, look, it, it sounds like they say they're prepared, and certainly from a staffing perspective, that appears to be the case, but you're only as prepared as you are willing to use the law enforcement that you have on the ground. We've seen for the last year a reticence from individual mayors and councils and police chiefs to actually use any sort of force when being met with this kind of rioting. And so if you don't use that overwhelming force to stop it, it just gets worse. And yet when you use any force, you have some voices out there who are fanning the flames like Maxine Waters and Rashida Talib, who will say this is the militarization and the over-policing of neighborhoods. So police are caught in really difficult positions. You just need some leaders to stand up. And I hope they do that in Minneapolis and frankly across the country. Yeah, well, maybe Max, Maxine Waters should stay home. Uh, Detroit's yeah. police chief, James Craig, says that the congresswoman, Rashida Tlaib, who you just mentioned, should resign after calling for no more police. Let's watch. I'd be the first person to call for a resignation and throw her a going away party. She needs to be censored. All this rhetoric is not helping the situation. It's putting our police officers in danger. It's, it's, it's making our communities less safe. Be quiet and take on a role of leadership. Jason. Well, she's not going to resign. I don't think she should resign, frankly, because, look, members of the voting public get to put in people in positions of power, including ones who are monsters, who want what's worse for this country, not what's best. That's for them to decide. I will say we need to look at this bigger picture. This is not just about Rashida Tlaib. The, the chief is correct. She is destructive. But let's not pretend that she's the only one doing this. This is a loud part of the Democratic Party that has been pushing to defund police, and we are now living the consequences. It's time for voters to step up and say, you guys, we are all the ones who are the victims of this. Look in Detroit, yeah. see if defunding the police is what really is going to fix the high murder rate there. And in the meantime, we need for those police to feel supported enough to do their jobs.